Okay, so uh, let's get started. I've got a basic uh, female character here, and uh, we're going to uh, put some uh, joints inside. So, let's start off putting our texture mode. And uh, normally I'll uh, start, uh, I'll create joints from the, oh, from the side view. So we'll go into the side. And uh, I'm going to start in the leg area, joint tool. And now, so what we're looking for, it's important to get the joints centered in the middle of the mesh. Also, you want to concentrate on getting your joints placed in between these edge loops here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start my first joint here. A little large, maybe we'll shrink those down, and then in between the ledge, edge loops on the knee and upper ankle area here. And I'm going to hold on X button here to snap to the uh, grid here while I'm on the ball of the foot. And same with the toe, it's a little bit large, but um, shift out right about there. And hit enter, and I'm going to reduce the uh, size of my joint display here, or display, animation, joint size, and we'll put it down at about one, oh, a large 0.5, and so I've got the first leg lined out, check out perspective view, and like I said, when you move the whole tool, we're not really going to be moving much, so move the foot over here, and I'm going to go back in the side view and continue upwards of the torso. And uh, I'm going to create a free root um, system. However, I'm going to hook all that up a little bit later. So I'm just going to head and start in with the uh, spinal column here in a new joint. So again, staying in between the edge loops, I'm going to start probably up a little bit higher. Because I'm going to put a root joint um, down here. Um, lower uh, pelvis area, but I'm going to start up here with the, <clears throat> up in the spine area. So usually you've got around seven uh, joints through the back area, so I'm just going to creep my way up there. All right, just do one, two, three, six, seven, one in the neck. Again, watch the edge loops down here, up into the neck and upper neck and for now I'm going to do a basic head so I'm just going to get one on the jawline I'm going to tap my um, up key to go back up and then one at the top of the head so and I'm going to hit enter and uh, we're going to come back and uh, do a couple different face rigs so but for this skeleton um, we're just going to do uh, start with a basic head and uh, move into the top view and we'll line out the arm and the hand. Check the time. Three minutes, probably good. And uh, I'm gonna start this uh, joint up here at the top of the shoulder. Again, we're gonna tie these in later. I'm also gonna have a, add a clavicle, a joint for the clavicle bone. We'll do that later. So, um, hard to see my edge loops, so I'm gonna kinda wing it here. I'm gonna move a lot of these around later. So, I'll start this one. I can tell I got a lot of edge loops over here where the elbow is, so I'll go here and into the wrist edge loops and palm area here. And I will move these later, but for now I'm gonna move I'm gonna go straight into I'm gonna go straight off for the middle finger and I'll move it later again. So I'm holding down the shift key and I'm gonna go with the first knuckle, second knuckle third and then the tip and I add a joint here at the end and it can be wherever you want I'm gonna put a weight on here and what that does is uh, I'm gonna delete that later but what it does is it lines up this last joint for us so and I know I'm in the uh, top view this one got lined up anyway but it's just a technique that I've used uh, for a long time the and uh, I know Maya's fixed this problem but I used to uh, you know, that last joint that doesn't orient itself, you used to have to manually correct that. So, anyway, um, enter and let's go into our perspective. And I'm going to raise that whole chain up. And I'll check that out over here. My 
shoulder. And again, I'm moving these uh, manually, so we're going to have to go in and fix the orientation of these joints. But just going in through and looking at that. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and delete that last joint there. And I'm going to lower my display size. So we've got our basic leg, spine, and arm. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the top view here. And pause this video for one second. Okay. All right. A little bit of water. It's a little late at night, so probably a little bit mellower than usual. Anyway. Uh, okay. So we got the middle um, finger. Uh, positioned in and uh, like I said, I'm going to move this one. This is the palm. So I'm going to leave the palm there uh, Move this guy down just a little bit and I'm going to duplicate this And move it down to the front finger and Duplicate this move it up to the ring I'll move these a little bit later and duplicate again the pinky Get our natural curve of the hand in here a little bit. And I'm going to go up here. And um, actually, I'm going to go back down. I'm going to run the thumb uh, off here. So I went back to the joint tool, click on the palm. And uh, the thumb is a little bit off, um, awkward, where it actually um, comes back up off of the wrist almost so the the axis and orient axis point is really you know rotation point excuse me somewhere around here so uh, i'm going to come off the palm and i'm going to jump uh, way up into here and then i'm going to do a knuckle um, actually i'm going to move that down so i'm going to middle mouse button drag that one down just a little bit to the knuckle there and Knuckle, it's kind of he's got an odd thumb, and then uh, for the fingers, you really want right at the end there. And um, because I didn't uh, duplicate this one as a zone, I'm going to go with an extra one. So I'm going to shift, snap that one out, and then I'm going to enter, and I'm going to take that last joint on the finger or on the thumb and delete it. Again, that just it sets the orientation of this chain. So um, we're going to work with the thumb specifically here, and um, but first of all, we're going to do is uh, the really fun part. And um, so the, the, the thing is, when, when you duplicate, um, you'll notice that this is joint 22, 23, 24, 25. Now, if I go up into here, um, I have 27, but then it goes down to 23, 24, 25. So I have the identical names here with these joints. And uh, when we're running our comment script tools or any script really um, we're going to run into errors if we go and try to reorient joints and, and whatnot because we have duplicate joint names so fortunately for us we get to go in through here and uh, start renaming these um, joints right off the bat so I'm going to move these into position a little bit better uh, and we will go in and orient these uh, joints much more specifically here shortly so again I'm using the up and down arrow keys and this I'm um, just apologize and do this one more time <clears throat> boy this is really small I just updated this too so um, that's working okay so I'm using the down arrow there we go I got that last one right at the tip And again, I mean, I'm looking at the fingers and I'm going in between the edge loops as best as I can. And here, and then right at the tip. And knuckle. Oh, that's a tough edge loop here, but uh, boy, I feel like that's too short there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in the middle. The 
these you really want these straight in the line so hopefully I don't mess these up too much okay model is probably not the cleanest but it's gonna work so again like the middle finger you really want kind of in a straight line kind of sets the tone um the ring finger is pretty straight and that one's looking pretty good I'm going to move this guy into the middle of my mesh. This guy back a little bit. And this guy up. Okay. So, again, I'm just checking the time really quick. Okay. And so now off for the, the fun part. So when I rename my joints, um, uh, I'm going to start here. And always start with the what side we're on. We're going to be on the left. And I'm going to call this shoulder underscore J and T. I know that looks like an I, but we've got capital L underscore shoulder underscore J and T. And lower one. Left underscore elbow underscore J and T. And we guessed it. Left underscore W R I S T. Wrist, JNT, lower palm, left palm, JNT, and now we're going to have to scoot in a bit. And again, we got to rename these first because our scripts are going to need uh, different names. So I know where we're at. Okay, so left. Um, I'm going to say pinky, I know, long titles, but finger, pinky finger, J and T, let's see, pinky finger, pinky finger, oh boy, I want to pause this, let me figure out the convent, okay, sorry, I just want to check my notes, so I'm going left, pinky finger, A joint, the joint right below that, with the B joint, but I'm going to copy this, move, oops, down a joint, paste, B, down a joint, paste, C, down a joint, D. Okay. I'm going to pause this one more time and I'm going to rename some of these just to save a little bit of time and I'll show you um, the name convention in the hyper. Okay, so I moved up to the ring finger and I've replaced all these names. Uh, you can see up in here um, with the pinky finger names. And looking back at this, I certainly could have uh, named this middle finger before I duplicated it and then used the uh, modify. I'm going to go into the select hierarchy. Well, it'll do it by itself. Modify, <clears throat> excuse me, search and replace names in the hierarchy. Search for pinky, place with ring. And in the hierarchy, important, and hit apply. So I've done that for this one. I'm going to do that for the rest of the uh, fingers. And I certainly could have done that for the name, the middle finger, then duplicated those off, then um, search and replace names in the hierarchies. But I didn't, so hopefully you do. And make sure that last, that first joint's going to rename it with a one at the end. So make sure you take that one off. Okay. Pause again. Okay, and uh, I just kind of save you guys the time, put this on pause. So I rename my thumb to thumb, left thumb A joint, B joint, C joint, D joint, and left index finger A joint, B joint, C joint, D joint, left middle finger A joint, B joint, C joint, D joint, left ring finger A joint, B joint, C joint, D joint. So with that, I'm going to pause this recording and uh, we'll move on here in the next video. Hope uh, that all set in. Might have to rewind, but.